refraction at spherical surface. Let a point object O be placed on the principal axis PC. A ray of light starting from O and traveling along the principal axis hits the surface XY normally and passes undeviated. Another rays of light OA incident on the refraction surface at angle I is refracted along AI at angle R bending towards the normal CAN. The two refracted rays meet at point I on the principal axis. I is the real image of the object O. From A draw AM perpendicular to PC. Angle AOM equals to alpha. Angle AIM equals to beta. Angle ACM equals to gamma. On increment ICA gamma equals to R plus beta or R equals to gamma minus beta. On OAC I equals to alpha plus gamma equation 2. According to Snell's law mu1 sin i equals to mu2 sin r since the angles are small mu1 i equals to mu2 r mu1 into alpha plus beta equals to mu2 into alpha minus beta equation 3. Considering small angles theta equals to L by R, alpha equals to AM by MO, gamma equals to AM by MC, beta equals to AM by MI. 3 becomes mu1 into AM by MO plus AM by MC equals to mu2 into AM by MC minus AM by MI. Mu1 into 1 by MO plus 1 by MC equals to mu2 into 1 by MC plus 1 by MI. Since considering only the CAN at small aperture, UM is close to P. MO equivalent to PO. MI equivalent to PI. MC equivalent to PC. Mu1 into 1 by PO plus 1 by PC equals to Mu2 into 1 by PC plus 1 by PI. Mu1 by PO plus Mu2 by PI equals to Mu2 minus Mu1 by PC. Using the sign convention we have PO equals to minus U, PI equals to plus V, PC equals to plus R mu1 by minus u plus mu2 by v equals to mu2 minus mu1 by r mu2 by v minus mu1 by u equals to mu2 minus mu1 by r